Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today we're going to be talking about the software that you need to run your ZWO EAF or electronic autofocuser and also how to connect that to Nina. Now, this piece of equipment is extremely useful in drastically reducing the time that it takes to achieve that perfect focus that is so crucial to getting those quality images that you're after. In fact, this piece of equipment is one of my top recommended accessories for your imaging setup. Now, it's important to know that there is calibration that's required with this, and don't let calibration scare you. It's super easy, and we're going to be going through that in another video. So let's hop over to my computer, and uh, let's get started on the software that you need and how to connect to Nina. So the first thing you want to do is open up your favorite web browser and go to google.com. Now, as always, there is a prerequisite, and that's ASCOM. So if you haven't downloaded ASCOM yet, please go ahead and do that now, as you're going to need it. I'm going to include a link to the ASCOM website in the description of this video, as well as a link to my video where I go over how to install ASCOM. So if you need a tutorial video, please go ahead and watch that. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. You can comment on this video or send me an email at hiddenlightinquiries at gmail.com. Also, if you find this video helpful, or if you've been following along and haven't done so yet, please go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you have ASCOM, we can go ahead and continue. So go ahead and go to google.com. And what you're going to do is go to type in uh, ZWO drivers. If you don't see this pop up, continue typing until you do. And what we want is astronomyimagingcamera.com. We're gonna scroll down to software. And what we want is the ASCOM driver. Now, if you already have an ASI camera that is uh, connected to Nina, you would already have both the camera driver and the ASCOM driver for that camera. So in other words, if you already have this installed for your camera, you don't need to go ahead and reinstall it. However, if you're using a different camera, but you have a ZWO uh, automatic focuser, you're going to need this driver right here. Now, I already have this installed, so I'm not going to go ahead and reinstall it. But what you're going to do is click download. And then depending on your system, you'll see a box pop up in the top right, which is your downloads box. You'll see the driver installing. And then once it's done, you'll go ahead and click open file. And you may or may not have a box that pops up in the center that asks if you want to allow the application to make changes to your device. If that happens, go ahead and click yes, follow the install wizard, and you'll have the ASCOM driver on your computer. From there, we'll go ahead and open Nina. We'll go to equipment, focuser, and you'll see some uh, drivers here. What you want is the ZWO focuser. I use one and you'll just go ahead and click connect. From there, you'll have complete control over your focuser. Now, I never control the focuser through this screen. I will um, go to the imaging tab and then I will control it through here. So for example, the uh, current position of the focuser, 21,914. And now we're 22,164. Now, I did mention that there is calibration required on this. We're going to cover that in another video. And that is everything to do with this right here. Now, don't let uh, this scare you. It's very easy. We're going to go through it step by step, and uh, you'll have a focuser that uh, performs time and time again. 
Now, as always, um, don't just close out of Nina. Um, what you're gonna do is, just like a computer, you wanna shut it down properly. And that means uh, always disconnect your equipment before shutting down Nina. And that is all that it takes to connect your ZWO EAF or automatic focuser to Nina. Now, the next video, we're gonna go ahead and go over calibrating that. And uh, if you found this useful, I hope you found it useful. But if you did, please uh, like and subscribe. If you have any questions, questions don't offend me. You can tell me, uh, hey, Tony, you didn't explain this good enough. Please explain it again. That doesn't offend me. Uh, some of these things can be pretty complicated, uh, especially for a first time user. Um, please don't ever hesitate to ask. I like questions and there's no such thing as a dumb question. Uh, you can comment on the video. You can send me an email, hiddenlightinquiries uh, at gmail.com. Until then, uh, until the next video, clear skies.